Here we go with our video 8.1, assigning oxidation numbers. This is the first part in our unit on redox, which is reduction and oxidation. Although usually, even though we say redox, we say oxidation reduction. I don't know why, that's just the way we do it. So anyway, assigning oxidation numbers is a set of rules. Now, what I recommend you do with uh, this slide is just kind of look and listen as I go through them and then pause it and copy the rules down. All right, so rule one. The oxidation number of a free element is always zero. For example, where we have here helium by itself and nitrogen by itself, even though it's N2, it's still considered by itself, we would assign each of these an oxidation number of zero. The oxidation number of a monatomic ion equals the charge of the ion. For example, when we say Na+, the oxidation number is plus one. We say N3 minus, we would say the oxidation number of that nitrogen is minus 3. The oxidation number of a group 1 element in a compound is plus 1. Always. The oxidation number of a group 2 element in a compound is plus 2. Always. The oxidation number of a group 17 element in a compound is minus 1 except for when that element is combined with one having a higher electronegativity. For example, the oxidation number of chlorine is minus one in HCl. However, the oxidation number of chlorine will be plus one in HOCl. Since oxygen is more electronegative than chlorine, the oxygen is going to be minus two. Okay, the hydrogen is going to be plus one, and the chlorine is going to have to then be plus one. One. The usual oxidation number of hydrogen is plus one. However, the oxidation number of hydrogen is minus one in compounds containing elements that are less electronegative than hydrogen, as in CaH2. So when hydrogen is bonded with a metal, the hydrogen will be negative one. When hydrogen is bonded with another nonmetal, then it's going to be plus one. And we can look here usually, right, when hydrogen bonded with a nonmetal like H2O, the hydrogen is first, showing that that's going to be positive. When it's bonded with a metal, the hydrogen is last. So it's a hydride, and that's going to be minus one. The oxidation number of oxygen in compounds is usually, and by usually we mean almost always, minus two. Okay, a couple of exceptions. Uh, OF2, since fluorine is more electronegative than oxygen, here the oxygen would be plus 2. And if you saw something like BaO2, well we know Ba is 2 plus, and in this case there's two oxygens, so each of them would actually have to be a minus 1. Okay, and that's because of the peroxide ion, which is OO2 minus, which means each oxygen is a minus 1. It's a very odd exception. You're not really going to see it in redox questions usually. Now the sum of all oxidation numbers of all the atoms in a neutral compound is zero. The sum of all the oxidation numbers in a polyatomic ion is equal to the charge on the ion. And we're going to see some of those in the examples on the next slide. So go ahead and pause now and copy all of these down. All right, so examples, HCl. Well, hydrogen is almost always plus one. And group 17 elements are pretty much always minus one. And when we add plus one and minus one, we get a zero. And since there's no net charge here, we want zero. All right. H2O, the rule states oxygen's minus two. And there's one oxygen. So watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm going to multiply 1 times minus 2, and I get minus 2. Now this needs to equal 0. So what am I going to have to add to minus 2 to get 0? Well, I'm going to have to add plus 2. Right? 2 minus 2 equals 0. Well, there's two hydrogens, so each one is a plus 1. 
Okay, so my oxidation numbers are up top. My math is down here on the bottom. H2SO4. Well, each oxygen we know is a minus 2. two minus 2 times 4 is minus 8. H2SO4 is neutral, so the whole thing has to equal 0. Hydrogens, we know from the rule, are going to each be plus 1. So plus 1 times 2 is plus 2. So here I have plus 2 minus 8. What do I need to add to that to make this a 0? Well, I need to add another 6. Right? Plus 2 plus 6 is 8 minus 8 is 0. So that means the sulfurs have to be plus 6, and there's only one sulfur. So that sulfur is plus 6. NH4 plus. Okay, now when we look up the electronegativities of these, right, hydrogen's electronegativity is 2.1, nitrogen's electronegativity is 3.0. So even though hydrogen's written at the end here, okay, the hydrogen's going to be positive. So each one is going to be a plus one for a total of plus four. Now in this case, we're not going to be equal to zero like these other ones because it's NH4 plus. It's an ammonium ion. So the net charge is plus one. So what plus four gives plus one? Well, minus three plus four equals plus one. That means our nitrogen is minus three. KMNO4. Okay, well, it's neutral, so we have to add up to zero. Easiest rule, oxygens are each minus 2 for a total of minus 8. Potassium is a group 1, so it has to be plus 1, and there's one of them. So plus 1 and minus 8, well, if we add 7 to this, right, plus 1 plus 7 gives plus 8, minus 8 equals 0. So our manganese has to be plus 7. LIH, metal. And a non-metal, so we know the metal, it's a group one, it's going to be plus one, so that means the hydrogen is going to have to be minus one, because plus one minus one equals zero. Helium, by itself, zero. Done. O2, by itself, zero. Done. Now, here's the fun one. Mg3PO4, two. All right, so magnesium is a group two. So each one is going to be plus 2 for a total of plus 6. Each of these oxygens is going to be minus 2. Minus 2. Now there's 4 times 2. There's 8 oxygens. So we end up with minus 16. The whole thing has to be equal to 0. So all the phosphoruses is together have to be plus 10. There's two of them, one times two, so each one is plus five. So the oxidation state on the phosphorus is plus five, the oxygen minus two, and the magnesium is plus two. Nice and easy. Don't worry, we're going to practice a bunch of these in school. However, I've got a couple of easy question time questions for you. All right, these shouldn't be too complicated. Well, the last one might be kind of tough, but if you go back to the rules and look at the examples I did, you'll be able to assign oxidation numbers to all of these. All right, that's the end. I will see you guys in school.